a lively crowd as well. You know, I'm, I'm hearing some cheers. Uh, shout outs to Midwest actually cheering for people. Wow, SoCal, these two people happen, or well, at least Larry uh, is a SoCal native, and at times Zero has been a SoCal for a long time, and we don't get no cheers from that. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> actually crazy. Either way, uh, another, you know, I say another battle that you'll see quite a bit. The outcome undetermined just yet because, again, we have zero and losers. Um, so this could be Larry's chance right here. Maybe he has the confidence to take him out. But the last time they played, uh, zero definitely just ran over Larry. Just, I mean, that's, oh. been the, that's been the story for the last couple of their encounters, man. I mean, you have to go back uh, maybe even almost two years at this point, year and a half, almost two years to the last time that Larry – uh, was able to defeat, um, you know, Zero in tournament. So it is. He's been quite uh, a ways removed from being able to do that. So if I'm Zero right now, I'm going in uh, this match not with really a sense of urgency, more so a sense of confidence. Because I already know what I'm capable of doing against this man. However, Larry, one of the best players you will ever encounter. I mean, he didn't have an easy road getting here either. Had to take out Rido. Um, also took out Mr. R to qualify for top eight. So he's definitely been putting in some work himself. Oh yeah. And he's going to do his best to not make this a uh, easy walkthrough for Zero. <laughs> Twitter is like, which is more at fault? Is it Gimmer or Lilac? Dag. That's for that last game, I'm not sure, man. You know, Gimmer's always up there. Even, like, even even now that I'm in NC and we don't live like in the same state, stuff goes wrong in my house, I still blame Gimmer. <laughs> like, my sink broke? God damn it, Gimmer. <laughs> always, always blaming Gimmer. That's actually. <laughs> I like it. Though. I like it. Either way, here we go. We got the daps out, and we're starting here on Smashville. Team Solo Mids, Zero versus Misfits, Larry Lur. Let's get it, man. Game number one, Smashville, the ever-popular starter stage right there. As we said already, Zero with the history of just kind of dominating that Larry, especially in these crucial, crucial tournament sets here. Maybe none more so crucial for each one of these guys already. Uh, first game of top eight right here. Oh, my look. What a beautiful combination right there from Zero. Just stringing it together. And Larry off the stage and not even getting a percent. Lord have mercy. Can we make sure his monitor's on? I mean, is this a button check for Larry right now? Because nothing, no nothing is going right for him. Make sure Nothing at all. Just make sure it's plugged <laughs> in. I, I just want to make sure. He Good finally Lord. got some damage here on the board, but it doesn't seem to matter. We're seeing game five, zero, and game one. He came out to play. That's I a, told you, that's that loser's bracket zero right here. My man does not want to leave this tournament by any means, especially not in seventh place. No doubt about it, man. He had a down-to-the-wire exchange with oh, Nairo God. earlier on to get into this top eight, and he is trying to assure himself that he will not be going to game five again. Larry here yet to even come up with an answer. Larry here, man. This is, oh, okay, oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's, I don't know what angle he was going for, what was down there. That's the emo angle. I'm going to uh, take care of myself. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm done. You know what? I think you got this game. That's what, that's the, I, you know what? You got this first game. That's what that was right there. So, Larry, uh, I don't know if he needs to pull some secondaries or just pull, put his head in the game, but uh, that was I think that was so, a wash. I think somebody told Zero we're behind schedule. He's like, <laughs> no speed run. No Let problem. me speed run this first set. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right, so a very dominating opening game for Zero. Let's see if Larry can bounce back. It's not about how you start, man. It's all about how you finish. Fellas, keep that in mind as we head this game number two, switching it up a little bit. Town and city. Let's see if this scenery change will do uh, Larry some favors. Yeah, it seems too. I mean, he's actually started off way better than that first game already. You know, even percent here on the board for him. But Zero now trying to run away, but it doesn't get that second back here that he's looking for. Larry seems to be, like, on the defense. This entire time so far. Yes. Oh my God! Great dunk. Mm. Now I feel like a lot of people always wait for that last kick. Zero said, "I don't have time to wait." What is he doing now? There still makes it back. Yep. Ooh, that's wow. great up tilt right there. I know Zero is probably going to be thinking of a down tilt himself. Yeah. Okay, Larry now starting to get some of that guaranteed damage, and I like that right here from Zero. You know, not giving up any air dodge. He is okay with fighting his way back down to the stage. Well, picking and choosing his options wisely here. Definitely. Definitely seeing a lot of resiliency here from Larry. Unable to barely scratch Zero in that opening game and now just taking a chunk out of him in the form of that first stock. Yeah. And that's exactly what he needs. You know, he's gotta throw he's gotta throw out those mix-ups all the time. You know, what is he what is he gonna do off his throw? You know, sometimes he'll walk up, maybe expect wait for you to air dodge. Sometimes he'll uh, walk up and go for the immediate back air, and that time it just happened to be that option. So we are trying to get back to the stage and maybe add a little extra. Finally gets the grab here. I, I'm not sure if he actually would have beat out that monkey flip uh, had Zero did it at the level that he was looking for. However, Larry, though, head is definitely in the game, man. No. That was the high school musical. Must be listening to that right now. Get your <laughs> head in the game, man. Imagine. 
<laughs> yeah. It's like, yo, what are you listening to? Yo, I always listen to High School Musical number one, man. Get your head in the game. Oh, man, that was an interview with Larry Larry. Anyway. There it is, man. Ooh. Uh-oh. Great air dodge right there from Zero. Needed to get through that situation. Larry Lair, though, still racking it up the double four there. Larry is playing out of his mind right here. Just trying no to get it done. I, I have no idea what happened, why people are yelling. That he just air dodged, and that's, what, that's yeah. the reaction we got. I mean, that was a nice answer. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Terrific catch right here. Okay, watch yourself, Larry. Gets to get oh. up and oh my god and just throw it out. That was beautiful. There's no hesitation right there. Zero or excuse me, Larry saw an opening right there and he executed perfectly. There you see our lively crowd in the building here at the big house seven. We're having a good time. Yeah, having a great time right here. Larry Lur getting himself on the board. Again, I mean, this is a set that I said that Larry Lur was not gonna get just straight demolished. He did get straight demolished last time, so really it's really up in uh or back and forth between these two as is Larry going to be able to get some games or is Zero going to play as dominant as we uh, usually remember? Looks like we're going to Midgar here. <laughs> Which song did they pick up? Oh, the regular battle song. I, I actually, uh, I'm actually about this song. Pretty, I get down with heavy. that. Yeah. As someone who's never played a Final Fantasy game, I just appreciate any of the music. You should get in there, man. At least Dissidia. It's coming out soon. Anyway. Larry Low. Hold up. Uh-oh. Uh, I think they're not allowed to do this. Vasef? Oh, dang, Vasef. Vasef. You can see him in the in the corner right now said no. <laughs> no. Go to FD. Look, look at look at Zill's face. He's like, he got a scolded like teenager. Like, Dude, Vasef's <laughs> like, like, he's like a, such a stern father figure. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I don't really understand the problem, man. If they agree to it, like. I mean, maybe it's, you know, licensing. Issues, I don't know. Probably probably licensing. I don't know. I mean, like. We, we def I know we definitely can't play on the Sonic stage for that exact reason. Uh, because of licenses. And here he is. Got the rule book out saying no. Hey. Of Final destination it is. All right. <laughs> Both of them scolded <laughs> two teenagers right I'll now. I'll tell you, they kept trying to play. I guarantee you that belt would have come off. They said plays no games right here, but games are definitely being played between these two. Game three right here. Let's see uh, if Larry Lair still has fire in the tank to make it to a game four with him on the winning side. Or is Zero going to go ahead and, and take it right back? You know, that first game super dominant for him. And then Larry manages to fire back. I won't say, say as dominant, but he definitely fired back pretty dominant. Oh, for sure, man. And that's exactly what he needed to get back in this contest with the lead right here in game number three. Oh, Zero, they're going to sit him down. Oh, and my just come back. double. I dunk. love it. I love it. Those kind of situations do or die right there for Zero. And he, just, he selected die, but he was not the one being sent into that coffin. Great Absolutely right burying there. Larry Lurk in that exchange. And if he was a dunk contest, that was all tense right there. <laughs> I like it. All tense. All right, so now a lot of control here from Zero, trying to escape the pressure of Larry. Trying to run him down right here. Got him trapped a little bit on the left side. Excellent catch. And now Larry's going to pin lie. down. I thought he was going to let it rip right there. That up smash. But wanted a little extra damage before he let that one rip. So here we are, 102. Larry Larry should. Oh, and I like that, but how? somehow Zero Ooh. actually gets through it. Yeah. We see uh, Larry. What kind of magnets? <laughs> He was nowhere near that ledge. Are you questioning that Papa Sakura? Uh, I'm, I'm never questioning again. <laughs> That'd be a little funky exchange right there. Benefiting zero for sure. Regrabs that ledge. Still with an opportunity to come back. Trying to look for that. I uh, used that banana as coverage. That down smash looked a little extra weak. I think he must have got the inside hitbox instead of uh, the actual legs. Actually, yeah, good observation on that. Yeah. I think that was the case. Zero, of course, no complaints about that one. Just moving and grooving right now. 41 to this 85, but remember, Zero still on his first stock here. Yeet. No uh, stock off that just yet. And the banana, actually, great coverage. Even if uh, if Zero didn't get hit, that probably would have been the game with the way that he got that uh, banana coverage. You know, covering where Larry's trying to get back on stage, and now Zero with the barrels, you've it got, works out. You've got to respect that, man. Yeah. He's so creative right there in his recovery, mixing up how he got back to the stage with the bananas right there, using some wall jump tactics to delay a little bit, and then coming through with the, the barrels. The unseen tactic is effective right there at zero, a commanding game three victory. Okay. So we actually got some insight right here from uh, Rickles. He said the legal Omegas that they're allowed to use was Palutena, Suzaku, and Wiley's. So anything else, uh, it's not legal. Oh, All right. Wow. So thanks, Rickles. Hold it down. Appreciate you, Ricks. Yeah, but here we are uh, into game four here. Zero, pretty dominant game three there. Came through with the powerful dunks. And on top of that, just, you know, had some very solid gameplay to round it out. So. This time around, Larry Laird. 
know, who, it's like it's just one guy every There's time. There's always one guy for one person, yeah. <laughs> and they're just so loud. Gotta appreciate that though, man. A definitely a hyped up crowd is what we want. Great fan support right here. Zero might need a little support himself. Throw. Okay. Again, keeping that good control. Oh, I like that little shook, right, uh, that little juke right there. Kind of waited for him to complete that roll and catch him with the monkey flip. Smart play from Zero. And just lets it rip right there on stage. Banana always there to cover him. We're playing teams. <laughs> We're definitely playing teams, man. I mean, that, that banana is the best teammate you could ever have, you zero. Now Larry getting smacked off the right side of the stage. Desperate to come back. Tries to initiate that Firefox zero, though. With Not the allowing answer. that to happen at all. It's cooling him down. So even the Firefox, that's great, man. He was zero has no problem playing uh, super deep against Larry today. I tell you that, man. He's been going off stage quite a bit. Right. You know, we're used to seeing him, you know, stay at the ledge and just wait for you to pick an option to punish it. But you know, he's everywhere now. One game away from taking care of Larry here. And yet another one of their fateful encounters. Larry needs to pick it up. Back airs right here. A couple of them hitting for zero and just immediately using those barrels to come back to the stage. Jeez, up great smash. up smash, yes. though. Great placement, great reaction from Larry. Still with an opportunity to take this to a game five. All right. So, yeah, man, decent damage here on... Uh on a Larry, but nothing too much to scoff at just yet, man. You know, he can always get it right back with some up tilts and two up airs or any of those follows that he can get off of that. Okay, finally gets a dash attack, but doesn't get that grab he's looking for. Okay, great control right now from Zero. Legend Trap Master at his nice. finest here. Still living. But definitely sending Larry a message. You know, you can't just come back on stage every time with that uh, side B. I'm not allowing that. Not allowing that at all. Yep. I want to give Lair, uh, Zero too many easy openings to exploit. One of the best in the business at taking care of it. And that could very well wrap things up. Yes, yeah. just barely able to get him off the top right there. 3-1 victory to TSM Zero. Great stuff. Great stuff, Zero, man. Again, we're always, we always talk about how great he is at the ledge. But we saw a, a new side of Zero, rather, uh, rather. Where? Okay. He wasn't just at the ledge this okay. time, okay. He was actually... Everywhere in between, where you see, where you see, you see where zero is right here, yeah. and then you see where Larry is. Right. He was actually in all this area. Okay. Right. So That's he covered this, this right here, a little bit of this sometimes. Okay. Probably some of this over here as well. But he was covering it all. Okay. The, I, man, this whiteboard really. Oh, there he is. He was covering it all. You see that man? Larry had nowhere to go. I mean, it was like, it was like if this was a uh, reflector from Fox, yeah. Larry was getting hit out every time. It's it's rough. It's rough out here. It, it's not a, it's not an easy task, man. Zero, and you know that's been. Uh, you know, definitely for uh, almost, like, I want to say a year and a half, two years, definitely been a demon for Larry to try and overcome. Will not be the case at this tournament, but still a nice, strong top eight finish for Larry. Nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, as I believe that will conclude our first losers matches right there. You see on the board, Mars. So that will take us to the winner's side of things. Things are definitely heating up over here. Again, you know, look who's in the winner's side. We have Cosmos. Versus Salem and then DeBuzz versus PG MPD. MPD, not too much of a stranger. Two
had a little more time to charge, to be honest. But. Yeah, I, understand, I understand his thought process, though. You're yeah. that far down, you don't want to take any chances trying to give yourself the best opportunity to survive. But as you said, okay, maybe could have held it on for maybe just another second, half a second, something like that. Um, but even regardless of that, he has still managed to hang on to this lead. Yeah. Showing no signs of trying to let it go, trying to whittle down that shield with some harassment there. Uh oh. It's not where I want to be here. i tell you right now, it's, it's look at the Lumi he's got on, man. It's the black Lumi, you know, you got to fight with a what? little more effort. Anyway, TK, how many the times did you allude to the fact he just throwing out those up smashes? Yeah, he just, <laughs> just does. But that right there, that was just a good read on the on the rollback. Right. right. Great stuff to MVD. I mean, he was, the up smashes were making it so that Luma was like kind of not a factor because even if he hit shield, uh, DeBuzz couldn't get a super strong Luma punish because Luma was in the air. And so, I mean, it works out. It looks a little unorthodox, but Hey, man, if it works, it works. No doubt about it, man. And that is a great game right there for MBD, not trying to stare down the barrel of elimination with a 2-0 glaring at you. Manages to keep things even here. It's our third game to Smashville we oh. go. Making his first appearance of the set. That was a, that was a trailer combo, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> first on that trailer, you're like, oh, this character looks busted. Hey, man, smash for the switch. Feel free to pull our footage. It ain't, like, it ain't like we got any saying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the buzz right now trying to run a train on MBD. Oh. And a great oh, one indeed. On. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually done. <laughs> I'm actually done. Well, definitely MBD putting the brakes on it. I will say that as he's able to fire back right here. <laughs> MVD clearly coming through with the no means no. But let's see if he can go ahead and get this set or you know swung into his favor. He's trying to get another game here on over the buzz. But the buzz, I mean again, I'm saying that like MVD is definitely starting to adjust to the buzz, but you can't count the buzz out until the game is actually over. Exactly. I've seen this man go down 2-0 and then somehow manage to bring it back with some uh, really whiskey and unorthodox gameplay. That's just the buzz special. Alright, so a lot of control right there, trying to keep it. But he was in the air momentarily, able to find a way. And then the barrel technician, I don't know, something went wrong on that one. Yeah. False start for sure. Maybe maybe not expecting uh, the bus to hold that shield too long or even, or even get the correct punish. But he might have been with Luma gone, he still got that F smash punish. He might have been trying to actually break the shield too because yeah. we saw how uh, how low it was. It was looking pretty low. So Nice idea by MDD, but just not quite where he needed that shield to be. But he is striking back right here, 138 for the buzz, nothing on MVD. Opportunity to make this one count. Oh, he's okay. just going to sling it right there. Oh, the banana. Okay, he's actually, that C-Stick is getting work. I'm telling you. That C-Stick is getting maximum work. Oh, another up smash right here for MVD. He is. Uh, Hit every smash in the book right there. Yeah, he, put, he put a lot of strain on that controller, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, we have the fine folks at Controller Chaos to uh, map that out for him. Should things go right? He, he definitely got to take a pit stop after that. I check and see if my uh, C-Stick's still good. Mm. If this stock I'm is still champion. good, once the buzz is done with it here, great dash attack, throws the banana up, just taking full control, everything working out for the buzz here in this third game. MVD yeah. just struggling to find anywhere to land, finally gets a little bit of relief on the right side due to that moving platform. Yeah, that was, uh, again, a lot of damage he got to add on just from MVD trying to get down. Monkey flips back in, oh, and he had the catch right there, but, oh, wow. Is that real? <laughs> real enough, I made that much. Something real effective if he's looking to make this comeback a reality. Okay, out of shield right there, just does the quickest option he can. That smash, right, I mean, that was actually super risky, but again, maybe he did that off of a confirm. I do see him throw out a lot of F smashes though, so. Right. All right, great stuff. Not going for the monkey flip. I mean, he has been throwing that out quite a bit uh, uh, and right onto stage, and therefore the buzz has been getting great punishes on him. Okay, like the bear. It out. Yeah. Ah, oh. I knew it was coming right yeah. there. You said it. He had been a little. He started to he use that monkey to pull it back. Right. He started to use it a little more sparingly that monkey yeah. flip, but the buzz probably had that one scattered out and has the reaction time to back those kind of reads up. Yeah. So here we go. The buzz moving over. Uh, MVD right now with two one. You know, one more win for the buzz, and he will be moving on to winners finals here. Yep. So we'll see who he gets to face after this set is over. Cosmos and Salem. Alrighty. Okay, I mean, obviously, MVD showing you that he can get a game here uh, because he did get that second game, but the third game did not go so well for him. Run it right back 
uh, to the stage that I think he got the he got the win on. So. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, no, sorry, I'm sorry. I think it started here, and then he got the win on FD. Yeah, he got the win on FD yeah. right here. This is the one that the Buzz got the win on. Right. Uh, it was a um, pretty strong win for the Buzz as well. So, uh, oh. see how it goes for MBD. You already know the Buzz looking to exploit that ceiling a little bit in those platforms. Just knock that stock off early with those up airs. So much knockback for that move on Rosalina. Right now, MVD, I mean, I feel like the bus just has his defensive options on a lot. I've seen him grab quite a few of those rolls, a few spot options, and every time uh, we see MVD get shield, it seems like the bus picks the right option to get him out of it yep. or waits uh, the perfect amount of time to hit him right after he drops it. So, either way, though, all that thing, all that time I was talking about the buzz, MVD managed to get it back to a respectable game, 70% here on the buzz. Nice little box in here, the buzz putting on. Wow, didn't even get a chance to utilize that banana. The buzz oh. having none of it. The double roll, however. You see him looking, using the puppet, keeping uh, Luma in his face right there, and that was great. I mean, that was just beautiful right there. Yeah. You saw all those rolls coming out, you probably thinking he's panicking a little bit. No, those are rolls by design. He was just trying to get MVD into the perfect position for him to yeah. strike. I mean, that's just beautiful gameplay, no matter how you slice it. It also helps for uh, him to reposition Luma right back in front of him. Yep. So whatever, whatever way that Rosa's facing is, is the way that Luma's going to be in front of you, so he rolls back so that way he's facing uh, his opponent, and then Luma steps in front. Oh my god. Look at the second stock right here, just being decimated by a plethora of up airs. I'm saying MVD has yet to come up with an answer to for the buzz right here, who seemingly has it all wrapped up, and that'll do it. A two stock victory in the fourth to take the buzz to winner's finals. MVD, a valiant effort right there. You see my dude in the back, though? Popping off for the buzz harder than the buzz would have popped off. Mm. Look. <laughs> the T over there, hey, come on, man. Not on this stage, not on this he's, stage. He's definitely excited. I yeah. mean, I, I, that's, that's okay. You know, we want you to be excited. We want you to be hyped for Smash, man. We're definitely oh, out definitely. here doing it big right now. E-E-T-K holding it down. So, you know. Yeah, good, that's, that's a good contest, though, right yeah, there. Yeah, first first uh, side of Winter Simi is going to be uh, take, given to the Buzz, obviously. MVD, you know, he showed up for a game. Yeah. But the Buzz, I mean, he showed up just for more games. Right, right. Free. Exactly. I mean, he was, yeah. he was looking quite well right there, especially in those last games or the last talk of almost each game. It seemed like... Uh, MVD just didn't know what to do once he was put back in the air. Like, he just kind of panicked and started throwing out options. And the Buzz just do every option he's going to throw out. And kept hitting him back in the air with up airs, up smashes, up tilts even. Uh, it was working out uh, quite well in his favor. So, the Buzz definitely deserves that win. And we'll be sitting in the winner's finals where we get to see who's coming up next to face him in winner's finals between Cosmos and Salem. Definitely going to be a fun showdown between these guys. And I'll tell you right, man, if, if MVD was kind of doing the whole Cinderella story, this man Cosmos, he's Pocahontas, all right? Because he's definitely out here hunting. And I have to say, man, I, I, I've been impressed with Cosmos for a while, but I haven't. What? what, what? I, well, I can, can you think of a black Disney princess? Yeah, uh, the one from uh, the Frog Princess. But what's her name? <laughs> exactly. Smash Four Boot Camp, December 7th through the 10th, Las Vegas, Nevada, 10,000 pounds. I've never been so sunned in my life. <laughs> you already know what it is. Uh, so, <laughs> a spot in there still on the line right now. Uh, the, obviously, the highest non-placing player at this event will be granted uh, an invitation there. Elegant already qualifying last week with a second place finish at GTX. Well, who will be the one for this one? We have still yet to decide that. Right yeah. now, it's, uh, you know, MVD guaranteed fifth, Cosmos guaranteed fifth, Can they Mars. Aim? Yep. Okay. Mars guaranteed fifth. So awesome. they're, they're all three going to be fighting for it. Okay, cool. I mean, either one of those guys would be a great and tremendous selection. So we'll see who wants it who wants it a little bit more, man. For Cosmos, definitely be a little more obtainable here if he's able to get through Salem and book himself a trip in the winner's finals. We got them uh, picking char characters here. Obviously, we're going to see the corn from uh, Cosmos and then the Bayonetta from Salem. However, it, you know, if this goes super, super awry for yeah. some reason, I I've seen his Greninja. I'm not going. I'm never going to sleep on that Greninja again. I mean, it was very unorthodox, but it worked out. Got a, got him to game five <laughs> in a set where I thought he was literally about to get 3-0 for picking that. All right, so we got the button check on deck. Bottle of battle of DLC right here in Corn and Bayonetta. Obviously, man, that has definitely been the more, um, you know, opposing character. A lot of great results. A lot of great bandanas as well. 
two lesser corners. Obviously, you got, you know, Ryuga and, uh, you know, very talented. And of course, Cosmos, the one, though, holding it down at the forefront. As you said earlier, TK, able to finally, you know, you know, when he moved into the, the loft house in Ohio and started to give himself these opportunities to really compete at the highest level in Smash, yeah. you know, that is when we really saw this guy start to come uh, to prominence a little bit. He has definitely shown up at this tournament. Major Wave wins over zero. Void, no easy task for sure. All right, so again, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very excited to see the set, mostly for the fact that Cosmos is playing so well. Uh, today we're starting to see some of these characters who don't get into top eights too often, or not characters, but players who don't get into top eight too often. They're really trying to make a name for themselves. Here it is, Cosmos striking first blood, double forward air. Nothing too crazy off that again, man. It's so easy for Salem to rack up damage as a bayonetta. You don't want to ever say this too much of a percent lead. That would have been great had he hit that down air. I'm not sure if it would have taken a stock, but would put Salem in a pretty bad position. It definitely would have been an inter interesting trade right there. And these two, although only one encounter between them, no strangers to plan. Cosmos with a victory over him at an MSN uh, a couple months back right there. And you already know, Cosmos has dispatched up uh, quite a few bandettas in his time. Yeah. So this is not a match that he is unfamiliar with at all. But, you know, first time meeting here on a national stage. Oh, I can tell you, uh, Salem knows something about nationals for sure. Our Evo and a DreamHack champion right here. Looking to handle business at the Big House 7. And off to a pretty strong lead here. A lot of stage control. Looking to catch him. Ooh. Wow. Really smart. Right? Kind of risky, but it worked out in his favor. You go know? high, right? Uh, yeah. Instead of trying to just go for the ledge, I feel like Salem was probably going to try to witch time it and then maybe neutral layered after that. So he went high and just drifted toward the ledge. Fortunate, you know, saved the stocks for a little bit, but not long enough. Ends up losing that first stock a couple seconds after. 85% here on Salem, though. Ooh. All right. So pretty good lead here for Salem. Starting things off, Cosmos is looking to respond. Mm. Uh-oh. Salem doing all the talking right now. Yeah. Get some up B, 